Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. So on Instagram stories the other day, it said that Cash Beauty was coming to the town that I live in. Carlo, I know, going against GDPR by telling you where I am or something like that. Anyways, they said that they were going to be in Carlo town in a car park between 12 and 3 p.m. So they said that, you know, if you came down, you could get stuff. There was a goodie bag for the first 25 people. Now, I unfortunately was not one of the first 25 people, but there you go. Anyways, this is a little vlog on it. And if you also want to see some of the goodies I got, it's a little mini haul. So if that is something you're interested in, then do please keep on watching. Friends, there's a cash beauty event actually happening in my town. Who'd have thought it? Anyways, I it starts at 12. It's a quarter to 12 now. There's already a queue, I could see, as I passed by. I've parked my car. So we're going to go and check it out. And I might get some goodies. So it's cashmas. It's a pun, apparently. So I got into the queue. Obviously, it took a while to kind of get towards the top. I arrived relatively late, but they were really good because they were like handing out brochures and kind of showing you like what they were selling. And they also had like a deal on some of the eyeshadow palettes that you could get for 25 and 20 euro. So some of the kits they had were like brush sets and the ultimate nudes and some of their newer eyeshadow palettes as well. So that was kind of cool along with some like newer products. Eventually, I obviously got near to the front. It was actually quite well run, I think. So they managed to find like the one rare bright day. Uh, not warm, it was kind of cold and I can't feel my extremities anymore. However, I picked up some things. Now, there was a thing where the first 25 people would get a goodie bag. Spoiler alert, I was not one of them. 25 because I'm bad apparently with timekeeping. I mean it was mostly I was chatting with Sahil so there you go. Anyways there was another thing that if you spent over 60 euro as you probably saw uh, that you get a free sculpting sponge so you all got, got a free sculpting sponge so I'm quite quite happy with that. Let's have a little look. E Ooh, nice nice and little. Now I had the colour trip one before and I ended up like breaking it. Yeah, don't even ask me, I ripped it. I'm apparently an idiot. But I also got the uh, Blood Moon lip kit. Are we surprised? I do love a red. Plot twist, ended up getting the ultimate nude. So apparently there's a new lip gloss in here, there's a lip liner and there's a nude lipstick. And I got... Thank you, come out. Idolize, which is apparently an eyeshadow topper and lash. So I got it in the pink pearl. So yeah, I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna swatch them and show them to you guys. So very short vlog, but there you go. So I have the bag here of the goodies. I already showed you the uh, sponge. So that's, that's really nice. It's really quite soft. I really rate their sponges. I think they're really, really good. I had one before. I told you, I ripped it because, well, I shouldn't be allowed to do things. Oh, T, I think, left this here. Whoopsie daisies. Anyways, this is what it is. This is apparently a new thing. So this is their Idolize. Now they have the uh, pink pearl. It's like an eyeshadow topper. This is what it looks like. So let's take it out. Now it was between this or copper glaze. You know me, I'm not really a copper kind of gal. So I kind of figured the pink pearl would make a little bit more sense. So this is what it looks like. They have beautiful packaging. They have the same sort of kind of lids or aesthetic as say for instance, Stila. It reminds me a little bit of Lois Cosmetics. Let's have a little swatch. So like I said, this is pink pearl. Has a nice doe foot. And let's put it on here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, excuse you, Miss Ting. I mean, that is very, very nice. Hmm. So it came with that. I don't know why I'm putting it back into the box because I will actually be like, putting these back to it like into my collection which I have been organizing over the next while but 
This is new. This is apparently a new style of lash and it's called Enchant. Now, that's what it said on the little leaflet thing that came with it. I've apparently already lost the leaflet. It's a good day. Anyways, these are the lashes. So they're called Enchant. They remind me a little bit of my trance lashes, which were part of the Colour Trip collection. And I'm obsessed with those to the point that I got four extra pairs. So these do look like they're a bit of me. Now, as to whether or not I can wear these with glasses, I don't know. Maybe these are just like filming glasses, you know, the ones that I'll wear for a short period of time. And then they like claw down, who knows? But I think this was really good. It was like, I think this was 24 euro, something like that. I'm not unhappy with that. Now, the next thing was a recommendation from my lovely friend Emily who is Cruelty Free Cruella on both TikTok and Instagram and she was saying you need to get the Blood Moon lip kit and I was like well then all I need is a, a very light push. Now you get the lipstick and you also get a lip liner. Can I just talk a little bit about the bullet lipstick because I was showing this to my partner and you can kind of see it's like K-A-S H. That is so satisfying. I love the packaging on this and as always it's like magnetized which I really enjoy and it's a beautiful red. Are we surprised? No, not really. And then there's a lip liner that goes with it. So the lip liner is called Blood Moon and the lipstick is called Blood Moon. Now I personally like it when you kind of match them up like that so that you're not like going with totally different names. So Let's do a little swatch of the lip liner. Let's see how that feels. Okay, it's nice and creamy. There are those two actually together, you know, that sort of an eye and that sort of lip. Okay, okay, I'll see you, I'll see you. And then the actual lipstick. Oh, it just feels so bougie. But that's nice. I like that. It's, it's um, so it's like a weird... What sort of a tone of red is that? It's not blue toned. It's not orange toned either. I don't know what that is. It's lovely though. Really like that. Thank you. Oh, sorry. The one thing I do hate about this is if you don't put it on right, the letters don't align and that does kind of semi bother me. But at the same time, I'm like, now I know it's put on the correct way. And the very last thing I got well, the ultimate nude. Now, apparently the lip gloss is new, right? So this was like, I want to say 20-ish or something like that. Now, not bad at all. The um, the other one, the moon kit thing was 18.95, I think. Anyways, it comes with a lipstick, a liner and a lip gloss. So the lipstick is called True Nude. Then the liner, if I can get it out, it's tricky at the angle. The liner is in Rust Nude, so not quite the same name, which does not bother me, but you know. And then the lip gloss is Classic Nude. So let's, let's give it a go. So we'll try the liner first. This is Rust Nude. So it's a dark enough one, okay? That's nice. And then... The lipstick, does the lipstick fully match? No, not really. Okay, the lipstick then, it doesn't match it at all. Uh, so you'd very much be going for the 90s right Now, I personally like it if my liner matches the lipstick, but there you go. I, and to be fair, if you look actually look at the, the reds, the liner doesn't match the lipstick either. So that's probably just me being a bit whatever. A bit pernickety. And then a lip gloss. Let's have a little look-see at that. Now I'm going to try it there, um, so you'll see it there. Okay, that's nice. And then over the lipstick, just cause sometimes it's nice to check out. Okay, yeah, okay, I'll put a bit on. This smells exactly like uh, Celine by Lunar Beauty. I should actually probably use a mirror when applying. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, there's... I mean, I 
mean, I'm not putting it on perfectly because, you know, I'm a mess and it's all going to be coming off in a few minutes. It's nice. Feels comfortable. It's not sticky either, which is nice. Let's say that who, who wants a sticky one? The smell is gorgeous. I'm now hungry for something sweet. Mm. Anyways, I think it was really well organised. It was nice to see the people who were like serving at the van. It was sort of like a van. They were so nice and so polite and really, really helpful. And I would have thought that there would have been an even bigger turnout. Now I did drive by again at about two because myself and Sahil and my parents were out for a day out because, you know, why not? And I was like, let's see what the story is. And there were still some people around, so they were still doing quite well. Now, the day before, on the Saturday, they had been in Kilkenny. I do love seeing an Irish business kind of, like, tapping into the Irish consumers as well and kind of doing their own thing. Now, I thought this was really cool. It was such a pity that Missa, Tia, Daniela, Lucy, Franca, etc. weren't here for this like if it had been a week earlier I think it would have been so much more fun because I'd have loved to have brought them all to that um, I think we'd have gotten very excited about that um but oh let's see I just want to oh there's okay sorry I just wanted to tap that liquid lipstick or not li liquid lipstick liquid eyeshadow look at that and I am budging okay that is that is good there's a bit of glitter in that oh I like that. There's a little bit of transfer, a little bit, but it didn't really move from there. So that is, that is bloody impressive. I will also say, I think the packaging of everything, beautiful. These were part of their like Cashmas Christmas sets. So what do I think of each of these? I think they're bloody good value. Like I'm biased because like I said, I do like to see an Irish business doing well. I do love that like there were loads of people coming up to me for whatever reason, kind of going, what's going on? I think I, I must have looked like I knew what was happening, which is an unusual trait for me. But it was cool, it was just nice to see. You wouldn't expect it in this town. Like, I mean, Carla was very small. So it was quite exciting to have that and, and just see all of that. They didn't have all of their stuff, obviously, that would have been nuts, but they had a lot of their best seller type things and they had like little kits together. You'll see some of the clips. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. That's the whole thing. Let me know, are you getting anything from Cash Beauty for Christmas? Or Cashmas, as they, as they like to call it. But that's it. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you can see more videos. Do please share. Because sharing is caring. Unless, of course, it's an STD. In which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross. But that's it. That's the end of the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.